super convincing? Yes. Do they get you to spend a lot of your money? Also yes. Did I cave this time and buy stuff from ads? Also yes. Hi, my name is Abigail Lane. Welcome back to my channel if you have been here before. Welcome if you have never been here. I'm so excited you're here today. I definitely caved into those ads and made it into a video. I have seen creators like Mia Maples do this and a lot of other creators where they scroll through Instagram or TikTok and they buy the first five things that are promoted to them and that's exactly what I did, but I did it with four. They are all clothing brands that got promoted to me, which makes sense because I do buy a lot of clothes, especially for this channel. So I went ahead and clicked on the ad and bought whatever it was sponsoring. So let's go through, I'm going to show you what store promoted what to me and then we will try it on and see if it's something that we like or not. So when I was scrolling through Instagram, the very first ad that came up to me was Opali. I have never actually ordered from Opali before, I've ordered from Princess Polly, I've ordered from Fashion Nova, I've ordered from all those kind of stores, but never Opali. So this was new to me and they were sponsoring a sale that was three for 60. So I went ahead and got three things because that's what it was sponsoring. And let me show you what I got. The very first thing that I got was a green jacket and this looks so cute. It's very different from anything else that I have. It is a really, really, really pretty green. And if you can see the fur texture, it's definitely different. It's not like a teddy jacket. I have a lot of teddy style jackets. We're going to try this on and see if we like it, but let me show you the other products that I got from Opali first so we can try it all on at once. The set second product that I picked up from Opali just immediately caught my eye because it looked like a snake to me and I thought it was so pretty. And you'll notice a trend through this video that I really like mesh and I really like bodysuits. So you're going to see a lot of mesh bodysuits. Just be prepared for that. This one is a mock neck long sleeve and I just thought the design of it was so cool because it reminded me of a snake, especially the blue on the back. And it is so soft. But this is so pretty and it might even look good under that jacket. We'll see. The third thing that I got, I wasn't like in love with a lot of the stuff that was on there. It's just not my style. But I did find these three things. This is another mesh bodysuit. This one has a very long bottom, so I'm curious about that, if it's gonna be like one of those high-waisted ones. Um, I don't know what to call this pattern, but it's almost like a marble effect of like a burgundy, pink, and it has a little bit of blue. It is not as soft as the snake one, but it is still super soft and I love it, and it's mock neck. So let's try these three things on from Opali and see if we, see if the algorithm got it right. Okay, so like take a look at this jacket. I'm so obsessed, I wanna wear this so bad. Too bad it's gloomy and cloudy and not able to wear this outside right now. I'm definitely gonna be taking that off because I'm not returning this. This is so pretty, it's really warm, it's a lot warmer than I expected. And that green that's on the inside is so cute. Let me show you the bodysuit. So this is that snake colored pattern bodysuit. I'm wearing a blue sports bra underneath. We're gonna ignore that, but I actually don't think it looks that bad with this. This bodysuit is so pretty. I don't think I own anything in like this really royal green color and the pattern. I'm obsessed with this. Like I want to wear this every day of my life because I just feel like I'm a I feel like I'm a snake. Like I look, I look like a slithery snake. Okay, honestly, love, love, love the pattern. I think it's so flattering. It's so pretty. I don't know how I feel about this. Like I predicted, it's gonna be super high waisted. Again, I don't have it buckled, but I can see there's no pulling this down. Like this is how it's gonna look. And I can't tell if it looks like it's like a little peekaboo or if it looks like that 2000s trend where you had like your underwear showing over your jeans. Wasn't a fan of that. I think it looks good on other people, not for me. But I can't tell. I feel like in the front it looks cute, in the back it kind of gives that vibe. So I don't know if there's like a way I could tuck this to make it a crop top. But either way, it's super comfortable. I'm okay. So that was Opali. The second store that popped up when I was scrolling through Instagram was 
Set Active. Set Active, I've never actually bought from them before. I bought from a couple different fitness brands, but I primarily stick to like Fabletics just because I'm very picky with how active wear fits me. Um, I am in between sizes. I don't really know my sizing right now, so a lot of active wear can feel really tight and uncomfortable, or if I go up a size, it's really big on the waist, so it like falls down the whole time, which is really frustrating. So I know what fits with me at stores like Fabletics and places that I shop at often, but Set Active, I wasn't sure. So I only bought one thing from Set Active, just because I didn't want to spend a lot of money and end up hating the products. I doubt I will, but I didn't want to and end up wasting them just because I wasn't familiar with the store. So I ended up getting these green leggings and the waist looks tiny. Tiny. So I'm really worried about that. And these are a medium, which is what I wear. I wear a medium or a small at Fabletics. But these are a medium and the waist looks tiny, which if I can get these on, I'm okay with a tiny waist because that means that it'll stay on. I'm upset that it doesn't have pockets. I love leggings with pockets, but that's okay. Not all of them have that, but they are super, super, super soft. So they do feel like high quality. I got a lighter color to see if they're going to be see-through or not because a lot of the times with fitness brands, lighter colors are very see-through. So I don't think I have high hopes for this one, but let's give it a chance. Okay, I'm pleasantly surprised by these leggings. Let me just lift this up so you can actually see them. Pleasantly surprised by these leggings. They are so, so, so soft. They fit perfect, like I didn't even have to squeeze them on, but they don't feel like they're gonna fall down at all. That's what I said at the beginning is, as long as I can get it on, the tighter waist might actually be good because that doesn't mean it's gonna fall off. I don't think the lighter color like hides as much, but we're in 2023, the year of not having to hide our cellulite or marks. I think that the lack of seam in the front could be super flattering, but it could also be very unforgiving. It's a lot more comfortable, but I feel like it definitely emphasizes like this bit a little bit more, but that's okay. Every woman has this. Like, this is part of a female body, so we're ignoring that. Or we're not ignoring it, we're embracing it. That's a better word. So, um, I do think it's really pretty. I don't think they're see-through at all, which is good. I was a little bit worried that they were gonna be see-through being a light color, but they don't seem to be see-through at all. I love these. I wish I had ordered more, but I'm glad I was cautious just because I'm very skeptical. I just wish they had pockets. Like, I'm a sucker for pockets right here. But that's just my preference. I will definitely be wearing these and I like them. So that's all that matters. Third store that I got from is the store that I got the most from just because I'm familiar with them and I wanted to get more basics from my closet. I feel like I've been focusing a lot on getting color and patterns and I've kind of strayed away from getting basics. But Basics are always really, really, really nice to have, especially high quality ones. So the third company that promoted on my For You page was Parade. And I know that Parade makes really good, really soft, really high quality basics. So that's what I got and I stocked up on them. So let's just go through these quickly so we can try them on. And be prepared for the mesh party with this one because apparently I was in like mesh mode this day and that's all I wanted to get in bodysuit mode, so yeah. First thing I got, I'm actually surprised that I got this because I wear blue very rarely. I feel like I struggle with blue because I feel like on me jeans look weird with blue and I don't know, I'm just picky with it. Um, but I got this blue mesh bodysuit. I think the color is so cute and if I could get out of my box of you can't wear blue jeans, which is not true. I think I would love this. So next thing, I got another mesh tank top, but this one is not a bodysuit. This one feels almost athletic-y, um, which is cool. I could wear it at, um, like when I'm doing my workouts and stuff. It is see-through. You can't see it as easy because obviously it's black, but this is really cute. It's really soft. It has a very, very, very little stretch, even though it's mesh. So it might be... Oh my gosh, that was dramatic. It might be pretty tight, but we're gonna try it on and see. I'm trying to rush through these because I got a lot from them. 
This one I got in a bigger size and I'm not sure why, so I'm hoping it still fits. But I got like a nude colored, like neutral brown. It has a little bit of a rosy tint in it, but it's a neutral brown color bodysuit. It's the same style as that first blue one. I just thought this would be perfect to like throw under jackets or be really, really, really good basic that you could wear with almost anything. And I own like no, nothing of this color. So I'm excited for this. Okay, this, I do not know why I bought this. Honestly, I think I'm going to hate this. I think I'm never going to wear this. I don't know why I chose it. I don't know if I thought it was green online or if I just rushed through it and got it. I don't wear gray, like ever. I don't feel good in gray. I feel like gray doesn't look good on me. Um, I can't figure out how to style gray stuff. But for some reason, I chose a gray green. It's, it's a really odd color. I don't know if you could see. It's like a gray green. We'll see about that. This I'm super excited for because I feel like I can wear it with everything. I have a few white shirts, but they're all pretty stained or like get ruined really easy. And this one is so insanely soft. I wish you guys could feel it through the camera. It is so soft. Like I want to go order every single color of the shirt. I got this in a large because it was supposed to be like a fitted shirt and I didn't want fitted. I kind of wanted it a little bit looser where it's still fitted ish but not super fitted. This does not look like a large, to be completely honest, but I guess if it's fitted and it has a lot of stretch, it could work. And the last thing I got, I'm surprised by this color. Online, I think I thought it was really yellow. In person, it's very like giving lemon lime Gatorade where people somehow argue with me that it's green. There's no way lemon lime Gatorade is green, but it gives like that kind of vibe where it's like a yellow green. It is really cute. Yellow is my favorite color. So I think I expected this to be a little bit more yellow, but I still think it's really pretty and it's really soft and it's not mesh. So I got two not mesh things from <laughs> Parade. Let's try all of those on. We're just going to go quickly through them because a lot of them are very similar in style. We're just going to see if they're soft, if they fit, all that stuff and then move on. See, this is what I mean. Why do I never buy blue? Like blue with jeans, it's cute, it looks good. I have like the same color sports bra on under, so it kind of works with it. I didn't, I'm honestly too lazy to go change my bra. So this is what it is. This is super, super, super cute. Um, this is a size small. I believe I got the brown one in the same style as a medium. This fits me perfect, so I'm a little bit worried about how the medium is gonna fit me, but I think this is really cute. There's not much to say about it besides I like it. Okay, so this one I need to correct myself. As I was putting it on, it felt like it had a lot more stretch than it felt like when I was holding it up. This is one of those shirts that I'm literally going to live in during the summer because where I live in California, it gets to like 110 degrees and stuff like this. I just don't want to like, it's too hot to like look cute, I guess. So I just throw on stuff like this and call it a day and I feel like this is going to be one of those things because it is mesh. It's really lightweight. I have a blue sports bra underneath and I feel like you can't see it and I have bright lights shining at me right now. So I love this. I love the length of it. It hits perfectly at my high waisted jeans and it's comfortable. I could wear this doing my workout or I could wear it like running errands. I feel like this is just very versatile. I could throw it on under jackets and it looks good. This is a yes. The medium fits. I actually really, really, really like this color. I feel like it's just a really easy basic. Again, it's see-through, but it's not like insanely see-through where, I don't know, it is see-through. I don't know what I'm talking about. It is see-through, you could see it, but I feel like you can't tell that my bra is blue. So like, it's not like it's completely opaque because otherwise you would be able to see the color underneath. I think, I've been changing really fast, so I'm out of my breath. Out of breath. Um, this is the medium. This is the same as that first blue one. And I was worried because I got a small in the blue and it fit me perfect. But I actually kind of like the fit of the medium better because it still fits me and it's still really flattering, but it's not like suctioning me. And I let's do words of affirmation. Gray does not define your personality. Gray does not define your self worth. I just I don't know why I bought this. I just don't like it. I don't like the color. 
Okay, this one is definitely the most see-through out of all of them. You could tell that I have a blue sports bra under. This is the softest shirt I've ever put on my body ever. I love this, but I love this shirt. I think it's super soft. I'm gonna wear this every day, but I'm very messy, so we'll see how long it lasts. Okay, definitely that like lemon lime Gatorade vibes where it's like kind of yellow, kind of green. We're ignoring the sports bra on this one because it just makes it look bad, but this color is super pretty. I think this shirt is super cute. It's really, really soft. It's one of the only shirts that I didn't get in a mesh material, and I think the parades, like normal cotton material, is so, so, so soft. Okay, we are to the last store. Last store that I got was Cotton On. I love Cotton On. Cotton On is amazing for basics. Um, we just got one where I live, but it's not somewhere that I go very often just because it's not in the best mall in town, I'll put it that way. Um, so I don't really go to it very often, but I do think they have really cute stuff. And I wanted to get jeans from the store just because I haven't gotten jeans from any of the other stores. And I struggle with jeans. I, I have found that the only jeans that really work for me are like Target jeans and that's what I stick to. I know my size at Target. I know that Target jeans fit me. These are Target jeans and they fit me like perfect. I, like I said earlier, am in between sizes so I never know what size I am. I did size up a lot here, but the first thing I got was these mom jeans and I think they're so cute. The color of them is definitely giving like vintage Levi's. It has the holes in the knees. But I sized up to a US size 8 and I'm a US size 4 or 6 usually. At Target I could even wear a 2 but I don't very often, it's just not the most, like I, I prefer a 4 just because it's a little bit looser. But I ordered a size 8 for some reason. I think it's because I've been burned in the last few videos. I order like a size 4 or I order a size 6 and it's still like, like does not fit. And it kind of has killed my confidence a little bit. But that's okay. We're learning to love our body and embrace our size this year. It does not matter what size you are as long as you are comfortable in what you're wearing. And I feel like women get so defeated by jean sizing because at every store I could go buy a size 4 from like 5 different stores and they fit completely different. And I feel like that's so unfair. It's really confidence killing. But we're just going to try these on. I would actually rather them be bigger than too small because at least I can use those extra buttons and close it. So I'm excited for these, let's hope they fit. And obviously, I was in a very green mood, so like my vibe when I was ordering apparently was green mesh bodysuit. Because looking at my clothes over there, I got a lot of green, but this is just a green basic tee. Like I said, Cotton On is known for like their basics. This is not as soft as the parade tee, but it's still really soft. It has a different fit, I like the sleeves on this one. So let's put these two together instead of trying them on separate and see what we think. Okay, so I tilted you down again for this one. So I am the headless, headless woman right now. Again, women's jeans just confuse me. We're ignoring my, <laughs> my lack of plug outlet thing. Uh, we need to get a new one. So we're just gonna not look at that. Anyways. This, I'm very confused about women's jeans. These are supposed to be mom jeans, so they're supposed to be looser. I am like a standard size 27 waist, which is like a size four, sometimes a size six, but these are so tight on my thighs. And these are supposed to be mom jeans, which are baggy, and these are size eight, but they're really loose on my waist. Which, I love the style of these jeans. I just wish they were like more mom jean and accurate to sizing. This shirt I love. It's a definitely different fit from the white t-shirt that I tried on from Parade. It's not as soft, it's a lot tighter in the armpits, and it's not as um, stretchy. It has no stretch in it at all, but I think the fit of it is perfect. It's exactly what I expected it to be. It's a little bit longer, it goes like past the high-waisted line, but it, I love it. It tucks in easy, it's higher on the neck. I think the color is super, super, super cute. So I give both of these a yes. I'm just frustrated at women's jean sizing and I wish that every store could just size their jeans by like 26, 27, 28, 29. That would make it so much easier for women. Anyways, that's my TED talk of the day. And that is the end of this video. Do I think that my Instagram algorithm knows me? Absolutely. Do I think that 
They know how to get me to buy stuff. Absolutely. They targeted me with everything I love. Clothes, basics, soft clothes, comfy clothes, active wear. Like they know me so well. It's like they watch everything I do. Anyways, bonus points if you could guess in the comments what video I'm going to do next based on these clothes. I feel like it's pretty obvious, but I want to see your guys' guesses. Anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. I had so much fun creating this one. It was really interesting just to actually pay attention to what is advertised to me because I feel like I don't really pay attention to it. A lot of the times, honestly, I just scroll past it. Uh, but I usually skip through ads on like Instagram, so it was actually interesting to see what was promoted to me and whether it was something that I would actually wear. And I think this was a 100 out of 10 everything I would wear. So good job, Instagram. You got me. Again, with this new year, I have a new posting schedule. I post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I got up to a little bit of a rocky start at the beginning of the year just because some stuff didn't come in on time. But we are back on schedule. We are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. You're already here. You watched this much of the video. Just hit it. Do it. Do it now. Hit that like button. It does help my channel as long as you like the video. Don't lie and say you liked it. Um, and yeah, turn on those post notifications if you want to get notified every single time I post. I drank way too much coffee this morning, but that's okay. It means we're energized and ready for the day. Let's go get some work done. <laughs> but until next time, bye!